Hey everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. Today we're going to be tackling a topic that I know a lot of people are struggling to find good information on, opioid treatment. Yeah. Um, and it's something that can feel really overwhelming, right? Like where do you even begin to look for answers? It can be really daunting. So we're going to try to break it down today. Uh, make it a little easier to understand. Absolutely. Maybe you're here because you're dealing with opioid dependence yourself, or maybe you're concerned about someone you love. Mm -hmm. Either way, we're here to help shed some light on this complex issue. Yeah. You know, we talk a lot about like achieving lasting freedom from opioids. Yeah. Not just managing symptoms, but actually getting to a place where you're not controlled by this addiction. Exactly. But to really get there, to find that true recovery. I think we got to start by understanding the science, the biology of what's happening in our brains and bodies when we use opioids. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. Opioid dependence is a multifaceted issue. And to understand it, to really grasp the effectiveness of treatments, we need to delve into the science. Right, right. So we know that opioids are used for pain relief. Mm -hmm. But how do they actually work? What's the mechanism behind that? Well, think of it this way. Yep. You have these tiny doorways all throughout your brain and body. They're called opioid receptors. Okay. They're part of your natural system for managing pain and experiencing reward. Oh, interesting. When opioids enter the picture, they latch onto those receptors and effectively block pain signals. Oh, so that's the pain relief part. Exactly. That's the pain relief part. Gotcha. But then how does this lead to addiction? Well, here's where things get really fascinating. Okay. While blocking pain, opioids also trigger this flood of dopamine. Uh Dopamine, the feel-good chemical. Exactly, like a neurochemical feel-good surge. Huh. The problem is this dopamine rush reinforces the desire to seek out more opioids. Mm -hmm. It kind of creates this cycle of dependence and ultimately addiction. So it's not just a matter of willpower. There's actually something physically changing in the brain. Precisely. The more opioids are used, the more pronounced those changes become. Areas of the brain responsible for decision-making, impulse control how we handle stress, even our emotions all get impacted. This is why addiction is characterized as a chronic relapsing brain disease. Wow. It goes beyond just making a choice. It does. It does. That's really helpful to understand uh, the science behind it. Now, I've been hearing a lot about the Waysman method lately. Mm -hmm. It seems like they're making some waves in the world of opioid treatment. What makes them different? Yeah, the Waysman method has definitely gained a global reputation as a leader in medical detoxification care. Okay. They've helped countless people worldwide overcome opioid dependence. What sets them apart is their unwavering focus on both safety and lasting recovery. Okay, so safety and lasting recovery, those are the key pillars. Yes. Can you break that down a little bit more? What does their approach look like? Sure. One of their key differentiators is the emphasis on reversing the physical dependence on opioids. Okay. It's almost like this. They aim to break the body's physical reliance on the drug first and foremost. Yeah. This allows them to create a foundation. Okay. To tackle the emotional and psychological aspects of recovery later when the person is better equipped to engage in that work. So it's about getting the body stable first so that the mind and spirit can kind of catch up. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense to me. But why is it... um so dangerous to try to detox on your own. I know it's probably yeah. not fun, but like, is it really that risky? It can be incredibly risky. And here's why. Opioid withdrawal can unleash a wave of intense symptoms. Yeah. And some can even be life-threatening. Oh, wow. We're talking about excruciating muscle aches, nausea, vomiting, not being able to sleep, anxiety, you know, just crippling anxiety, even seizures in some cases. And these withdrawal symptoms can be especially dangerous for those with underlying health conditions. Oh, that's scary. So medical supervision is not something to mess around with. It's not. It's not. How does the Waysman method go about prioritizing safety? What do they do differently? Well, their commitment to safety is kind of interwoven into the very fabric of their treatment. Okay. For starters, all detoxification procedures are conducted in a fully equipped hospital setting. So they're not messing around. Absolutely not. Real deal. This means patients have 247 access to medical care and monitoring. So any issues that arise, they can be addressed immediately. It's really the gold standard when it comes to detox safety. That's reassuring, I think, for both the patient and their loved ones. Absolutely. To know that there's somebody there, Yeah. you know, if something goes wrong. Now, who are the people behind the Wiseman method? What's their expertise? 
Well, leading the team is a physician with decades of experience, specifically in opioid treatment. He's not just board certified in anesthesiology, but he also holds certifications in pain medicine, addiction medicine, and palliative medicine. Quadruple board certified. Quadruple, that's right. Wow. And his team also includes other highly skilled addiction specialists and nurses. Okay. All dedicated to providing the absolute best care. So it sounds like it's not a cookie-cutter approach. They really look at the individual and what their needs are? Precisely. They conduct comprehensive health assessments before even initiating any treatment. This ensures the approach is both safe and effective for each individual. It's personalized care, not just a generic solution. I like that. So we've talked about detox, but that's just the first step, right? Yeah. What happens after detox? What kind of support do people need to actually stay on the path to recovery? That's a great question. The Waysman Method recognizes that detox is just the beginning, and they have a comprehensive post-detox care program. Okay. It addresses both the physical and the mental aspects of recovery. Okay, that's interesting. Can you tell me a little more about what that post-detox care looks like? Sure. So following detox, patients transition to their integrated recovery center. Oh. It's a really nurturing, supportive environment where they can continue healing and building a strong foundation for lasting recovery. They offer a wide array of services, uh, including personalized emotional support, strategies to prevent cravings, and even a transition to an exclusive recovery retreat. Oh, wow. Where patients receive round-the-clock care for a few days before heading home. So they've really thought of everything. They've tried to, yes. Now, we've been talking a lot about the Waisman Method and their focus on complete detoxification. Mm. But there's also medication-assisted treatment, or MNET. Mm -hmm. which seems to be a very common approach to opioid addiction these days. Yes, very common. Could you explain a little bit about how that works and how it compares to the Waysman method? You're right. MET is a common approach. While it can be helpful for some people, it's crucial to understand its limitations as well. Okay, let's talk about those limitations. What are some of the potential drawbacks of MET? Well, MET typically involves medications like methadone or buprenorphine. Yeah, okay. These drugs attach to the same opioid receptors in the brain okay. as other opioids like heroin or prescription painkillers. While they can help reduce cravings and withdrawal symptoms, the key point is they are still opioids. So in essence, MAT is replacing one opioid with another. Exactly. It's substituting one opioid for another. Oh. And while that can be a useful tool for some, it's not a cure. The Waysman Method takes a different stance. Their goal is to guide people towards complete freedom from opioids. Okay. They believe that true detoxification, achieving complete independence from opioids under safe medical conditions, offers the most effective path to long-term recovery. Okay. And it allows individuals to break free from that physical dependence. Right. And then really focus on healing the emotional and psychological issues that contributed to their addiction in the first place. Yeah, it sounds like the Waysman method is really about empowering people to take control of their lives, not just manage their addiction. That's pretty powerful. It is. It is. Both approaches have their place. The ultimate decision comes down to the individual and their goals for recovery. Yeah. Do they want to manage their addiction long term with medication or do they want to strive for complete freedom from opioids? That's a big question. It is a big question. And I imagine it's not an easy one to answer. But it's clear that making informed choices about treatment is essential. We'll explore that further and discuss other key considerations in choosing the right path to opioid recovery when we return. Welcome back to our deep dive on opioid treatment. You know, it really strikes me that choosing the right path to recovery, it's a deeply personal thing, right? Absolutely. There is no one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one person may not work for another. So it's about finding what works for you. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say someone is listening and they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all this information. Where do they even start? What are some things that people should consider when they're trying to make this decision? That's a great question. There are a few key considerations I always encourage people to think about. Okay. First and foremost is the setting. Where will this detoxification process take place? Okay. Remember, opioid withdrawal, it can be tough both physically and emotionally. Yeah. Safety has to be the top priority. So with the need for that constant supervision that we talked about in the first part, in-hospital detox is probably the safest bet. Absolutely. You want to have a dedicated team of medical professionals who can monitor your progress, Mm -hmm. manage any potential complications, and just really provide that support you need through the whole process. Yeah, yeah. 
And speaking of support, that seems like another really important piece of this puzzle. You're absolutely right. Opioid addiction is complex. Recovery isn't just about detoxing. It's about addressing the emotional, the psychological, and the social factors that contributed to the addiction in the first place. It's treating the whole person, not just the addiction itself. Exactly. Look for a program that offers a holistic approach, a focus on individualized care. Yeah. This might include therapy, counseling, support groups, you know. Right. Uh, even holistic therapies like yoga or meditation. Yeah. Individual counseling can help address personal triggers, coping mechanisms. Mm -hmm. Group therapy provides that sense of community, yeah. you know, shared experience. Family therapy, that can be invaluable in repairing relationships and building a supportive home environment. So it really does take a village, so to speak. It's not just about the individual. It's about that support system. Absolutely. And it's important to choose a program that recognizes that and can help address those needs. Okay, so we've got setting, support, anything else that's really, really key to think about. You know, this next one is super important. Commitment to full recovery. Okay. Ask yourself, what does freedom from opioids truly look like to me? Okay, that's a really powerful question. Why is it so important to ask that? Like before you even begin treatment. Well, it helps you really hone in on your goals. Mm. And then you can choose a program that aligns with those goals. Okay. So if your ultimate goal is to be completely free from opioids, you're going to want to look for a program that prioritizes complete detoxification okay. and long-term recovery support as opposed to maintenance on replacement opioids. So it's about having a vision and then finding the treatment that fits that vision. Precisely. And remember, this is your recovery. You deserve to feel empowered confident in your choices, yeah. take the time to research different programs, ask questions, mm -hmm. and really just make sure you feel comfortable with the approach before you dive in. What I'm really hearing from you is this idea of a holistic approach, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just about stopping the drug use. It's about healing on all levels. It is. Opioid addiction affects every single aspect of a person's life. Mm -hmm. So it only makes sense that treatment should address all of those different levels. So we talked a lot about the Waysman method. Hmm. What would you say sets them apart from other treatment options? What really sets them apart is the fact that they offer this unique blend of medical expertise and compassion. Okay. Their medical team is renowned worldwide with decades of experience specifically in treating opioid addiction. And we can't forget, they do the entire detox process in a hospital setting. That's right. That's right. And the post-detox care, it's truly comprehensive. Yeah. They have that integrated recovery center where patients can continue healing mm. and really begin to rebuild their lives. So it sounds like their goal is not just to get people off opioids, right. but to really give them the tools they need to stay off opioids. Exactly. It's about long-term recovery. Yeah. What's really inspiring to me is this, this idea of helping people achieve complete freedom. Right. Like not just managing it, but actually being free from this. Yeah. And their success rate seems to speak for itself. Absolutely. They've helped thousands of individuals break free from addiction and reclaim their lives. And it really speaks to the fact that lasting recovery is possible. It gives me hope. And that's what we want people to take away from this, right? Mm -hmm. That there is hope, even if you've been struggling for a long time. There is hope. There is. But it starts with making informed choices and seeking the right support. I think the Waysman Method offers a really valuable resource for anyone who's battling this. Yeah. They're pioneers in the field, really. And yeah. their commitment to safety, compassion, and lasting recovery is truly commendable. Yeah, it's been really eye-opening for me to learn about their approach and just to understand the nuances of opioid treatment a little bit better. Huh. What I keep coming back to is this idea of informed choice. It's paramount. When we come back for the last part of our deep dive... We're going to wrap things up with some final thoughts on finding the right path. So stay tuned. Welcome back to our deep dive. We've been talking about opioid treatment, and it's a lot to take in. Right? It is. It's a complex issue. But I think the most important thing for people to remember mm -hmm. is that there is hope. Absolutely, there is. Mm -hmm. No matter how challenging things may seem right now, mm -hmm. last in recovery is possible. Yeah. Yeah. You can break free from this. We've talked about the Waysman Method. But even if that's not the right path for you, there are other options. Right. And the key is just to take that first step. Yeah. Reach out to someone, a trusted healthcare professional, a counselor, a friend, 
family member. Yeah. There are people out there who care and who want to help. And don't be afraid to ask questions. Yeah. The more you understand about this, the more empowered you'll be to make the right choices for yourself. Absolutely. Knowledge is power, right? It really is. Yeah. And you deserve to feel confident in the decisions you make about your recovery. Yes, you do. And remember, this isn't about shame or judgment. It's about seeking the help you need to live a healthier, happier life. This has been such an important conversation. You know, as we wrap up, I just want to leave our listeners with a thought. We've talked about freedom from opioids. But what does that actually look like for you? What kind of life do you want to create for yourself? Hold on to that vision because that hope, that desire, that's going to fuel your recovery. That's beautiful. And if anyone out there is interested in learning more about the Waysman Method, mm -hmm. you can find their contact info in the show notes. Yeah, they offer confidential consultation, so don't hesitate to reach out. Well, thank you so much for being here today. It's been a pleasure having you on The Deep Dive. The pleasure is all mine. And to our listeners, remember, you're not alone. Recovery is possible. Keep seeking knowledge. Keep diving deep. And we'll see you next time.